Good morning, this is Mila Boschko with the Daily Report from the Eclob Newsroom in Varna. Let's look at our story for today. The island of Madagascar lies just 500 kilometers to the east of mainland Africa and around 6,000 kilometers to the southwest of Southeast Asia. It has been an enduring mystery why the inhabitants of the island speak Malagasy, a language otherwise unique to Southeast Asia and the Pacific and possess both African and Southeast Asian genetic heritage. Genetically, the people of Madagascar are close to Malaysians, Polynesians and other speakers of the so-called Austronesian languages. Some of Madagascar's food is also of Southeast Asian origin. Today, some 10% of the island's flora is of Asian origin and its historically and culturally important crops such as banana, yam, taro, cotton, mung bean and coconut are Southeast Asian cultivars. Moreover, Madagascar's traditional agriculture is based on Asian rice. These observations led an international team of scientists to believe that food has more to say about history than one might expect. They collected the so-called Archaeobotanica data, tiny chart pieces of plant residues obtained from deep sediments through sieving. The team was able to identify the species of 2,443 ancient crop remains from a total of 18 sites on Madagascar, the nearby Comoro Islands, the coast of mainland Kenya and Tanzania and the nearby islands of Pemba, Mafia and Zanzibar. The archaeological findings are from the same time period suggested by linguists around the first millennium. The results show that African and Asian crops were found on all sites. However, the Eastern African sites had predominantly African crops brought over from Central and Western Africa in the Iron Age, such as sorghum, pearl millet, finger millet, baobab and cowpea. Asian crops like Asian rice, mung bean and cotton were found mostly at major trading ports. On the other hand, the earliest subsistence in Madagascar and even the nearby Comoros, where people speak Bantu rather than Austronesian languages, was almost entirely dependent on Asian crops. Based on these patterns, the scientists conclude that Asian crops were brought to Eastern Africa through trading, to Madagascar and the Comoros through colonization. Thus, this is now the first ever archaeological evidence of Austronesian colonizers who most probably came from the islands of Southeast Asia. This was all for today. If you would like to find out more, please visit eclo.com. Thank you for watching.